Hey folks, welcome back to Campaign Leipzig. This is the same uh, Defense of Gulsdorf opening, you know, getting started scenario. Um, now, this this game was made, I think originally, the the game was originally made back when War Games Design Studio, or sorry, back when John Tiller Software, the, the developers, they didn't really mind so much if they made a scenario for beginners that was difficult to win okay and i was reading in their design notes oh sorry i was reading on their website that they've kind of had a change of heart in recent years so now that they when they when they pick a, a a getting started scenario they try to make it so that it's something that beginners can win as well this is a very very difficult scenario okay i think and even if you don't like i, I made a bit of a blunder i think you saw that oh uh, these guys last in the last episode i i started a melee and then instead of hitting this button I'm, i've been using these not instead of the hotkey so that you guys can see what's going on right uh, but i i've got this thing sometimes where I, I, my mouse is incredibly sensitive to save myself from getting rsi so that's what happens right uh, i i over the years i've had really really almost crippling rsi re repetitive strain injury in my mouse hand because i've been using a computer since i was about eight years old and i'm now you know mid 40s so um, in order to dramatically reduce that, I, I have all sorts of paraphernalia and also I have a very, very sensitive mouse. So that's why you will sometimes see me misclick stuff, okay? Because uh, I also change the um, the DPI resolution of my mouse as well at work to do various things because I have to do like tracking shots with, you know, for videos I make and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I, I make mistakes occasionally and I, I hit the clear melee button and I was like, oh, well, I want to resolve that. So I tried the melee again, and I actually ended up taking an extra 80 casualties on top. And those guys routed as a result. So there was a bit of a blunder, unfortunately. And normally, I think, norm normally what I would do is if that was like a turn-based game, you know, if I'd, I'd saved the game in between the turn, um, if I was playing on my own, I would just restart it, right? I'd just be like, okay, that was a blunder, clear blunder, so I'm just going to restart. But because it's a video, I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to take the loss. You know, it's it's not in... in, in um, it's not infeasible that we could take 180 losses meleeing into some um, artillery. Uh, you know, if the artillery, was, the gunners were particularly on it that day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we we do have we do have a route here, unfortunately, but that's okay. We've got more, some more troops that are coming in. Um, <clears throat> we've got a, a presence on this hill. We've not by no means commanding the hill, but we are going to try to get round the side of this uh, this uh, this unit here. Look, we're going to get round the back and. So I think the way we want to do this, let me just see what we've got here. We want to keep moving. Okay, I'm going to take some shots coming in. Well, that was a lot of troops. That was a lot of men dead for three hexes. They got lucky there, I think. We're going to turn around, take a few skirmisher shots, and then the next, uh, we're going to we're going to hit them in the side. And uh, these are quality B troops. Now they are down, down to 530 men, and they are disordered. So this is going to be a hard battle for you know hard one for us to win. I'm going to try nonetheless. Okay, these skirmishers are going to jump onto this uh, point. Now you can't take the point with uh, you can't take the victory point with uh, skirmishers. But we're going to go round here. I think. Yeah, these are with one Kohlberg, which are yeah, that is these guys. I think we're actually going to get these guys back into their parent unit. Oh no, we can't. Okay, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll <clears throat> we'll have these guys attack at the same time. Uh, okay. Now these guys have turned their line around. That's great news. That means that uh, two Kohlberg here can actually we can jump up onto this hill, and we're going to get uh, we're going to probably take some shots. Let's turn around. Okay. Yeah, they're going to take a few skirmisher shots, and then we're going to hit these guys from the back. Um, we are also going to move these guys in this way. We're going to take some shots. We're going to take a defensive fire from these, and this is going to hurt, I'm afraid. Okay, we didn't take. We might. We might take it if we turn. Okay, they, uh, we've run out. Okay, so what we're probably going to do with these guys here, we're probably going to join the melee here, and we're going to have this light brigade jump in. Now we do have a. Yeah, we've got a brigadier general here. And we want the Brigadier General in the melee that's going to be the most difficult. I think this is going to be the most difficult melee. So we're going to keep the Brigadier General there. Uh, these guys are part of two Kohlberg as well. Um, well. I think I'm going to try and get those guys back into their parent formation. Come on. We can do that, can't we? Oh, they're disordered. The skirmishes are disordered, so they can't do it. All right, let's just t let's just get a shot in on these on these guys here then. Okay. All right. 
All right, these guys are limbered. These guys are limbered as well. Okay, so neither of them are going to be able to fire this turn. I think we turn this to the left and then we start shooting this way. And we start getting putting some firepower down onto here. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Now these guys can probably... Yeah, let's unlimber here. So, and you can turn, by the way, on the spot. This is something I'd forgotten about. You can actually turn here. So let's get these guys... Oh, can't move and fire in the same turn. Okay, yeah, of course. So yeah, we can't. Once we've unlimited, we can't fire. Let's get these guys on the same job then. And we're just going to unlimber them. They're going to be ready to fire on turn five. As you can see, moving your moving your guns is a bit of a, you know, it's not an easy job. Uh, sorry. It's something you've got to think about and pre-plan, basically. Yeah, we might be getting in the way of these. That out of range. Oh no, we're not facing the target. I think we're going to move these as well now. I th we're going to have to limber them up. Let's change their formation. Yeah, move down this way. And we'll start moving these guys down towards and we'll try and get some shots off. Uh, let's have a look at what we can see from here. Okay. Yeah, we want to be. We probably want to be hitting these uh, these troops here. Can we hit these from there? No, but we can definitely hit them. And that's um, an unfollowed attack as well. Okay, we've got those mounted troops. We'll deal with those in a minute when I'm thinking about what we want to do there. Um, I think we're going to put the. Yeah, look, we've got a line here. I think we're actually going to extend our line out to the left flank. Guys, it takes some casual. Uh, take some shots. Defensive fire. And we're going to turn these. Okay, they can't ex they can't turn any further, uh, but that is going to help cut off the uh, these guys. These guys these guys are going to be likely going to be cut off now. I think skirmishers can cut them off with their zone of control. So these are going to be detached. They're not going to be able to melee, uh, as far as I can tell. So our skirmishers are going to be able to do some damage here, and then eventually we'll turn around with these guys. Let's move the. Oh, have we got any units that are out of ammo? Let's just have a look. Go into view and highlight. Low on ammo is A. Okay. No. Doesn't look like we've got any low on am low ammo troops. So I'm going to move these. Uh, let's just move these supplies just out of the way. Uh, these skirmishes from FJ Kohlberg are now back in the game. So let's get these guys moving back in. Excellent. We've got the whole of FJ Kohlberg here. The whole battalion are actually here we can actually join those guys back once we've they've completed their mission here we've got one routing unit up here in the north but that's okay and 2-1 Neumark uh 3-1 Neumark okay so we've got three brigades come uh, sorry three battalions coming in from uh the inf the sixth brigade basically and the regiment I think would be Neumark uh okay let's get let's send these in now, we don't want to be getting too close to the enemy, but I do want to get some more troops onto this hill because, yeah, I think it's important to try and take and hold this hill. Let's get these guys up on here. Now, these are large units. I think we're going to get them up on this side. Can they turn? No. No, they can't. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Well, probably what we're going to do is going to put a, a unit up here, and then we're going to have them lined up on this uh, on this side. It's an open train, and it's not very you know they're going to get shot. But they are going to. We'll, what we'll do is we'll we'll detach them. Oh, these are detached as well now. Now they are detached primarily because their their uh, brigadier general has not turned up on the field yet. That's partly why. Oh, we will also get some skip uh, some units units arrived. I think this turn. Let's check. Yeah, there we are. Look, we've got a whole bunch of allies come in. Here we are. I think the generals... Okay, so it's mostly cavalry. Uh, we've also got some of these guys here on this side. We've got a light brigade, the 3-9 reserve. Uh, then we've got 2-9 and 1-9. Um, these guys... I think we're these ones, actually... I might bring these down to bolster the centre. So let's get these guys moving down this road. They're going to be able to go a long way down that road. Get these guys down the road too. Okay, and we're going to get these. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and play defensively this time. Apart from those insane casualties I just took uh, with that mistake, um, I'm hoping to avoid, you know, excessive casualties. We're going to bring some of these 
yeah, the, here's our cavalry. These are dragoons, look. So this is the cavalry of the 6th Brigade, 6th Brigade Cavalry, part of 3 Corps. So we're going to have, yeah, we've got Lancers. These are part of the same, so these are going to be under the same Brigadier General, I believe. Let's just check, yeah, okay. So, uh, Orby Craft, he is the Division General for this whole lot, I think. No, all of these units here in the north in the north side of the battle. These, are, by the way, these are coming from a different part of the battle. Uh, this is this scenario is part a, a, a part a small part of a larger battle, so that is why we've got these troops coming in. Okay, let's bring the uh, try and get these guys down onto the road, and then we will we'll have a think about what we want to do in terms of their placement, and then we're going to bring these. Let's get these cavalry down this way. I want the enemy to see that we've got a lot of cavalry, you know, a lot of troops coming in now. All right. We've shot with those. We've not fired with these guns here. These guns can't fire at the moment because we've got some cavalry in the way. Um, let's have a look at what formation we're in. These guys are in a, a, a line formation. Yeah, these cavalry are going to take some sh uh, to take some firepower. I think we're going to move these guys around. They're not in. They're not doing what I wanted them to do, which was to threaten. They they probably have prevented enemy units from moving in this way, and they will definitely prevent skirmishes from deploying. So that's not you know that that's an idea. That's a good idea. Sorry. Let's move these. We'll try and think about what we want to do here. Let's see where we can go with these cavalry. Let's get these cavalry around this way. We're going to turn them that way. So we are threatening a a charge next turn. Or yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get these guys around as well. We'll put them in the same square. Uh, same hex. Uh, they now they are facing a different direction, so they're not going to be able to charge next turn. That's unfortunate. Okay, but we've got the eight, uh, this troop here. Yeah, this is one two Neumark, uh, one two Kumark, or Kermark, and two two Kermark. Okay, this is the other. This is the other squadron from one two Kermark. Let's get these guys back round as well. Now these guns, uh, these are horse artillery. We can move these relatively quickly if we need to. If they become threatened by cavalry, we will move them. So don't worry about those bike guys being kind of like sat there like sitting ducks on the flank. Oh, these are down to three and oh, 38 strength. That's right, because we've uh, we've we've extended them out. Okay, let's start taking doing some shots on these grenadiers. Yeah, look, we're only taking a few men um, in return. I'm going to move now. We've got a, we've got some guns here, and we want the, we want those guns to be able to fire right now. I don't think we're going to be able to because of these because of this extended line. Now we could bring that extended line back in, or we could move them. Uh, they can't. They're not tied. You know, they can they can move out. I think. I think they can. Let's just remove that organizational thing. Now these are part of t uh, two. Two E, yeah. This that's these guys. Let's get these skirmishes back out this way. And can we move these guys here? Yes, we can. Which means we can probably now, yeah. Now we can start firing with the cannons. There we go. That's some decent damage. And then we, what we're going to do is we're going to get this light brigade. We're going to move them into this this uh, this extension of this light brigade here. Yeah, we might have wanted to fire with those first. Never mind. Let's just um, fire with these first. Okay. Now these are in an orchard, so they are they are you know kind of hiding, partially hiding. Yeah, those are fired. Yeah. So I made a bit of a mistake there. Like normally you'd you'd be a little bit more careful and just try to make sure you're firing with everything. Um, there was 300 troops we could have shot with here, but yeah, there a bit a little bit of a mistake. But we live and learn. Okay, this extended line has fired. Let's just see who's fired and who's not fired. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Okay, so these guys cannot fire, I don't think. There'll be anything they can fire at. No, they can't shoot any of this stuff. Um, these guys will be able to fire, but I don't want to. I want no. I don't want to. Um, you when you fire with a column, you get one fifth of your strength basically being effective. Okay, so what's that going to be with six hundred men? Uh, half would be 300. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like less. It's about just over 100, something like that. 
100 men 120 men not a lot so it's kind of it's kind of pointless you are better saving those so the way that this models the game right you know the way the game models melee is your men will they'll pack in their uh, black powder into their muskets and they'll load it with ammunition and then they will charge and they will shoot as they're going in right and if you shoot before you uh do the charge you're going to get a less effective charge i can't remember what the modifier is it's quite high though i think it's about 20 percent extra casualties you know or 20 percent extra uh, the way the, co the complex system uh the way the com combat sim simulation is calculated is a little bit um it's interesting and I'd ha i'll have to get the manual out and explain it to you because i understand it um but to explain it <laughs> there's formulas involved okay what else can we do here i think we're about done these guys can probably i think we should we should turn these guys now this is a shortened line again there's nothing coming in this side is there let's have these guys turn yeah i, I think what we could do if we put these guys back like the next in the next round we're gonna shoot with well maybe not shoot maybe i'll move them back alternatively uh, we could bring them back into the extended line now this is a light brigade and we could probably just completely deploy them into skirmishes and bring these guys up and have the skirmishes you know harassing the enemy that's one thing that one, one option that we've got okay what have we not moved uh we've got these skirmishes here so these are fired though i think that's about it i think we're good to go so make sure we've not got any skirmishes that haven't fired Yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go here. Okay, we're gonna end the turn. Okay, now's our melee phase. Now melee is quite kind of as you know quite difficult. <laughs> so let's get these guys doing it. We're gonna go um, one Kohlberg and F Kohlberg here. These two light brigades. No, no, sorry. Um, this is not a light brigade, but I don't want I don't know if I want to attack with the skirmishes as well. Yeah, we're gonna get shot by the way by these um, when we do this. So. five men okay oh okay that wasn't the oh man that hurt that hurt I and mean, they disordered them okay they're, de they're detached so they can't attack we, we are definitely attacking with these okay now let's resolve the melee i'm not going to cancel it this time i'm going to use the hotkey <laughs> let's go all right we did it both of our units are disordered but we did push these men off and we did quite a lot of damage as well so we pushed them off this hill which is what we wanted now um, we are facing in the wrong direction to be able to take on these skirmishes here, uh, these guys here. Oh, we can melee. Can we? No, we can't. Cannot attack when... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's saying that. It might be the skirmishes can melee. Or it might have been that they were able to melee. Uh, yeah, they would have been able to melee here. That's what it was. Okay, so next time we're going to... We'll turn those guys around. Um... Yeah, we'll turn those guys around and we'll 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 either start shooting or we'll melee them, or alternatively we'll, we'll jump onto these guys again and uh, just chase them off this hill completely. Okay, what else have we got to uh, to potentially do with the melee? No, we're not going to melee with skirmishes. Uh, I'm not going to melee with an line either. Now, yeah, saying those skirmishes can melee, I don't want to melee with those. Okay, that's going to be it. So let's roll on the turn for the French. Okay, we got some defensive fire off on that line uh, on that uh, uh, battalion. Yeah, these uh, cannons are uh, doing some good defensive fire here on this uh, set up on this hill. Now, whether they're ultimately they're going to be that effective up there or not, I've, 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 I'm still figuring out how to use the cannons, to be honest. And I think that you've got to, you've really got to put them in a commanding view. They can be very, 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 very effective. Uh, if you saw in the last series where I put them along this road, they were really effective at the end game there. Um, but I'm expecting a lot of the enemy to come this side. Now, in the last game, the AI did not bother sending its troops down into the center to die. Well, I think they would have lost a, lot, lost a lot of troops. So they were actually, in in essence, they were playing really well. They got a major victory. Um, ooh, 13 men. There we go. Our cannons are starting to fire at them. There we go. 
we go. We're starting to fire back at them. Now, those guys are also in cover. But I think uh, we're, they're going to be taking a lot of damage. They're going to be taking a lot of casualties and they're probably going to end up running. Yeah, lots of defensive fire coming from our troops here too. Okay, so they're firing into our skirmishers. That did a lot of damage for skirmishers from a long way. <laughs> Maybe they got rifles. Okay, they tried to... they melee us. Okay, one unit routed. That was those guys there. Um, one unit recovered or fatigue. Two units disordered out of ten. Yeah, we're not doing very well on the command unit. Command rolls by the looks of it. Yeah, looks like he failed his command rating. He passed. Uh, where is the other division commander here? Yeah, he passed, but the uh, subordinate failed. Okay. All right. Let's carry on, see what we can do. So we're going to try to find a position where... Yeah, I want these guys closer, I think. Let's get these guns in closer. Uh, all right, let me think about how we're going to approach this. Yeah, let's get these guns in firing at the troops that are within range. Now, we're not going to be able to... I don't think we're going to be able to... Yeah, these guys are, are pushing their luck a little bit but this close to this cavalry. Let's turn those like that and we'll, we're, um, we're not going to be able to charge. Okay, these guys are all facing different ways. Now, we should be able to put this squadron back into this main group. Yeah, there we are. So I, we're not going to be able to charge, but we are going to be able to melee. And if we melee, I think, with a bunch of troops... Yeah, those uh, those skirmishes ran. They they might come back. We'll see. I think I'm going to turn these. They'd need to. Would they need to about face? I think about face is going to be faster. About face, and then we turn left. Okay, we we got our backs to these troops, but we're gonna we're gonna put um we'll we'll fire in here. Look. Okay. And take some more shots in the rear. <clears throat> Okay, let's just try to clear these out. I think the guns are going to stay where they are. Fifty-two men. That's a lot of men. I think these these are going to run. Remember, we want to be doing lots of casualties and avoiding casualties ourselves. Uh, let's just fire with these while we've got the opportunity. We will move these back eventually once they once so we can get them back into range. Uh, do we have any low ammo? No. Okay. Good. 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 Fire with the skirmishes to soften up these uh, troops before we. I, I think I'm going to melee them with the uh, with the lancers. Now the lance. I I think you still get the lance bonus. I I don't know how the lance works. I think it's just a type of unit. They are better with the charge. I think that's how it works. But we're just going to... These are isolated. Now, they, if they fire when they're isolated, they will automatically become out of ammo. Um, that's one of the rules. So... Yeah. Maybe we don't attack this turn. I'm wondering if we... Uh, I'm wondering if we move these guys back. Or we move them one hex out. And then try to turn them... At least the bigger unit. Let's turn them around. I don't think we'll get these wheeled. No, um, we might be able to turn them a bit. No, okay, we can't. So we got, but this unit here, this this um, two two uh, Kermark, they are ready for a for a charge. Okay, so next turn we can declare a charge, and I think the, with these being out isolated, they're probably going to get disordered quite quickly. So once they're disordered, we can charge into them. And that's 300 men, you know, basically. They're going to be routing off the field, I expect. Okay. 
Let's see what else we need to move here. Okay, we've got this column here. These guys have about faced. I wonder if we can turn them, march them, and hit them in the center. Meanwhile, we can actually send... Ah, oh, these guys can deploy, so let's deploy some skirmishers. Uh, let's get these skirmishers out. There we are. Okay. I want to get these guys on to take this. Now, this is from one Kohlberg. That's these guys here. They're disordered, so we can't... Uh, what do we do with them? These guns are in a really, really scary position. Yeah, I think that they'll be able to see this. But that's okay. Um, I, I think what we're going to do here is we are disordered. Both of these, though, can melee into this group. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to jump, we're going to melee these and try and push them off. Um... Now it's what we it's what we do with these here. We need to get round the side of this these these groups. They're disordered, but there's quite a lot of men. There's six hundred and sixty men. Um which is too much for us to charge into, you know, to, to deal with. I think we turn these guys. And we move them. And then I think Okay, yeah, we managed to move them okay. All right, so uh, what do we do? Do we move right around the back of them or do we turn and hit them in the side? I think we can turn this turn, so let's try and melee. We might, we might be able to, we'll threaten the melee this turn, look. Uh, now, from here, we can actually move, we, we can actually move behind them. Now, they're likely to turn again if we do that. Uh, we've got another, we've got another group of men here, look, that we've used to take this to take this position. Um, I'm going to get these guys on here and we're going to move these out. Maybe I put, can I put these into line formation here? I wonder, but I can. Yeah. Okay. So we've got them in a short and line formation. Yeah. So what we're going to do next turn probably is move these up, up onto here, turn them around and then we're going to have them like this way. Um, I think this column here, let's turn them, take a few casualties there, and we're going to put them into a line formation. Can we extend them out this turn? Probably not, no. Okay, in that case, let's just get some shots off where we can. Okay, killed some skirmishes. All right. I want you turning to, wheeling to the left, and I'm going to... Infantry in column kind of, oh yeah, of course, to get them into extended line first. Oh yeah, we won't be able to do that this turn. So those guys are going to, we'll probably extend these guys down that way. This unit here, 2-1 uh, Neumark. 3-1 uh, Neumark, we're probably going to bring them down that way. That leaves 4-1 Neumark. Got these reserves as well, they're quality C. These are quality D. Yeah, these aren't good quality unit troops. I think what we're going to do here... I'm going to keep these in reserve, I think. So I'm going to turn them. And then we're going to bring them out into change formation. I'm going to start using some of the hotkeys now. Uh, okay. All right, let's continue moving these cavalry down this road. Uh, down this road. Ah, oh, we can shoot here. Okay, that's good news. Let's shoot into the back of these... Okay, that's not bad. Only two guns, look. Yeah, we've moved those ones already. Yeah, just two guns did quite a lot of damage there. Yeah, let's get these cavalry out of the way. Um, uh, they want to turn that way, I think. It's a light brigade.
There we are, look. That's some nice damage. Always good to fight it. fire at leaders. If you get lucky, you know, you can kill them. <clears throat> All right. Let's continue down this road. Ah. Okay. Look at this. Look what we can do here. Now, we can melee them this turn. We could, we could do a big melee as well. And we could push these guys off, which means that we want to be... Uh, let's bring these... Turn them to the... Yeah, they need to feel, wait, wheel that way. <clears throat> We're going to bring them down there. I mean, we could melee... We could just hit them with them with lots and lots of troops here, but I don't think that's the best idea. I think we're going to keep these in reserve. We'll melee them with the uh, with these troops here, these reserves, the 2-9 reserves. And then we've got two Kohlberg as well, who are quality B. They're going to do well in this melee. Uh, we'll hit those guys. They're, they're disordered already. The 600 men. We've got, what, some... Yeah, we've got a lot of men. Um, maybe a little bit too much for the stacking, but we'll see. And yeah, we've got a load of mounted troops too. I think we're going to bring these guys out. Right, let's bring him going this way. Okay, and we've got more cavalry here. Uh, we're going to leave some of these cavalry up this side, I think. And then we'll bring the rest down. Because I think we then we might... It, we, the threat of a decisive cavalry charge could be enough to prevent the enemy kind of moving too much closer to us. Okay, these guys are routed. Oh yeah, we've got the... We've got the Brigadier General here. Oh, sorry, Divisionary General. Yeah, we want him well in the centre. So let's get him down. We're gonna get, we can get him on here and we can, he can take part in the melee. Hopefully hopefully he doesn't die or get captured. <laughs> I think that's unlikely though. I think we're going to win that melee. I'm pretty sure. Okay, more skirmishes. Uh, these are 2-3 Prussian. Okay, so that will be with 2-3 Prussian. That's these guys here. Let's move these. Let's see what I'm doing with them. Yeah, let's move them up and we'll just skirmish here. Okay, no effect. Oh, with this extended line, they fired. I think that's it, guys. These haven't fired yet. I don't think these can, can they? They have. And just go through all my troops just very, very quickly. We can deploy some skirmishes out here. Um, that might be a good idea, right? And the reason is because we could probably do with some eyes. Let's just see what we can... Mind you, those guys can see fairly well. The, yeah. Let's just pop those there. Let's... There we are. And then they can take some pot shots. Now, skirmishes, by the way, four men, you know, in a, out of 300 men doesn't seem like it's going to do a lot, but it adds up. And that's the idea, especially on the long battles. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are like, this is like a 12 turn battle, right? On the longer battles, the skirmisher damage can really, really, uh, really, really add up. Let's, these guys, uh, these are, f oh, they've not fired. Let's fire into, okay, we've got 100 men. They're going to be easy to, 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 uh, to defeat, I think. to soften them up a little bit more if we can so these guys this is the one that's going to be the difficult uh, difficult one to kill um, but so let's keep firing okay yeah I think I think we 100 men and who are disordered I think if we send this group in here uh, one Kohlberg. I think that will be enough to push those and we'll keep these guys on this hill here. This is the melee that's going to be the interesting one. I've got to... Like, you don't want to send everyone in. The thing is, because you they'll all get fatigued, right? And you probably need to save a little bit of fatigue. You know, save a little bit. Like, these guys are quite fatigued, actually. So maybe... Ah, that's interesting. Maybe the disordered group will be better. The problem is, when they're disordered, they get, like, a massive penalty to their attack. And it's big as well. 
And we get a small... I think the penalty for being fatigued, level 2 fatigue like this... It, uh, we're level 1 fatigued, I think that is. I think the next level is 600 to 800. So I think... I think the the penalty for these guys is going to be less actually than the disorder penalty for these dis for this disorder group. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to, to plan how I'm going to do this assault. Okay, here we go. Right. So the, here's the melee phase. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we're not going to melee with those guys. We can't melee with those. We're not going to melee with these. I don't want to melee with uh, extended line troops. We do want to melee with these though. So uh, this is quality B, two Kohlberg. We've also got this second reserve. 700 men, wow. Yeah, let's send two Kohlberg in. And we're going to... So it's an advantage attacker. Um, do I attack with these as well? I think I do. Okay, they're detached. They can't attack. These are detached as well. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you got to watch that. This is something that I, I didn't account for in my plan. So, um, but fortunately, we'll be okay. So, we lost 40 attackers. We killed 69, uh, 66 defenders. They had nowhere to run, and they uh, they were they were eliminated because we were ba we basically surrounded them. They didn't have any zone of control that they could move into. Uh, so there was nowhere that they had a zone of control, so they surrendered. Uh, so we we destroyed that unit completely, I think. I think that's what just happened, unless they run off somewhere where we can't see, but I think that's what just happened. Okay, so uh, that was that was good. That was a good job. And the, look, these guys, they got 251 fatigue. They lost some men, 40 men, but that's okay. They can recover from that. And I think we're good. that was a good melee. Now... Who can melee here? Both of these can. This is the this is who we you know we've got to think about who we're going to melee with. I think we're going to do it with these guys. I think the disordered penalty is worse. Now, if we fail, of course, we can always do it with the second group. There we go. We lost seven attackers. They uh, we killed forty nine of the defenders. We pushed them back. There's only eighty eight men left. Um, they might rout. We'll see. Okay. We could melee these skirmishes. That's not a good idea. We'd, I'd rather put the light brigade here. I think I'd actually make, either deploy them into skirmishes and then start harassing these guns. That might be something that we can do. The problem is they will take some damage um, doing that, but that might be a better idea. I'd rather lose, you know, skirmisher level troops. Or, you know, uh, when you're attacking skirmishes, you do less damage, okay? Because they're dispersed and they're hiding in terrain. So I think I'd rather the cannons were firing at skirmishes if we have the option. So we put some skirmishes in the front. These cannons, I'd rather they were firing at the skirmishes. However, I'd rather they were firing at nothing. <laughs> so, you know, I'd rather they didn't fire at anything. These guys can melee. Um, do I want to get these onto this hill? No, I think I'm just going to blast away at these skirmishes and try and route them. I think that would probably be a better move there. Okay, that's going to be it. All right, folks. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Let's just watch the French turn and then we'll end the episode. That's French turn six. Okay, those guys... I think they routed. Or they ran. Or they retreated. Uh, we've got some more troops incoming. <laughs> Some long-range skirmisher firepower there. Look, like being able to shoot muskets three and four is re is really odd to me. Like uh, originally two was your maximum, and the, the the rules have changed with with some sort of minor scale changes that I think they brought in, and they're trying to more accurately model how the muskets would work. It's so one of the things I like about these games. They're always kind of revising the like figuring out the history and the you know the. Uh, the revisions to the understanding of, you know, how the historical battles were played out, I think is probably the best way to, to say it. Yeah, look at that. So they only killed three men with those guns. I don't mind them firing it, killing three men in a skirmishing unit. Here we go, look at Now our cannons are starting to do some damage. Skirmishers did some good damage there. Really, really good damage from skirmishers now. I, it's almost like they feel more effective than they did in the previous versions of the game. Ooh, yeah, okay, so... Th now that was a, that was a line, that was a... 
uh, infantry brigade that did that. Okay, the uh, those uh, the French actually pushed us going to his back there, but we uh, we had a unit rallied and three units undisordered, and we didn't rout anyone. Uh, so these guys actually stood their ground. That was a, that was good. That was really really good. They're, they're a little bit fatigued because of that melee. Uh, they were probably they probably just ran. I think that's generally what skirmishes are programmed to do. Uh, they they don't stick around and fight 700 men, you know, <laughs> with 111 men, 120 men, or whatever they had. They're gonna, they, they'll, they'll basically shoot and then they'll, they'll turn tail and run. Probably a fighting retreat, most likely, just to kind of d to delay the advance. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened there. This is this battle's looking better. I'm doing better here, guys, than I was doing last time. Apart from you know the, my bit of a blunder here with these, uh, with with this troop. Here are these. Oh, it's these guys. It was one one Neumark, and they've actually re, uh, they've they've actually rallied, which is excellent news. Let's get them back into the game. I think what we're going to do is we'll we'll about face them, and then I'm going to get them sat there for a few turns just to. What turn are we on six? Yeah, we could wait them a turn and just get their fatigue down. Um, I forget what the. Let's just have a look at what the fatigue recovery is on this map. Uh, where are we? Stacking parameters. Yeah. So. Daytime recovery is 30%. So the maximum recovery that you can get, it makes a dice roll, okay? So you will uh, you will recover between 1 and... Th I, I don't know what the what the lower end is, actually, but it's somewhere between, you know, the, lo the low end and 30% of your fatigue can be recovered by resting your units. Okay, that's how that works, I think. Okay, I'm really pleased with this. This is looking a lot better. Let's just check the victory, uh, victory points before we go. This is looking better. Look, so uh, we've so the the infantry losses are they're they're seventeen hundred, so they got they've lost two hundred points. We're at seven hundred now. We've lost quite a lot of cavalry, but only four points worth. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, the French we've actually we've actually uh, destroyed some guns as well, and that was a lot of points worth. So that was really good that we destroyed that. Uh, we destroyed those guns. Uh, we I think I'm fairly sure that we uh, we just surrounded and d destroyed that unit completely. They had nowhere to run to. They had nowhere to route to. So they were completely destroyed. I got to remember that because encirclement is obviously still a thing in this game in this game series as well. Uh, I think this turn we're going to grab this. We're going to try to grab this victory point, and now we're going to hold it. Okay. So probably what I'm going to do is this this group here. We're going to. I think we'll turn. Okay, those guys are in an extended line. And the other side of them have turned, haven't they? Yeah, so I, I think I think probably what we're going to do is we're going to take that victory point. We're going to try and hold it. It's, it you know, we'll, we'll grab it basically and try to hold it till the end of the game. I think the, 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 it will be moving these guys in. The uh, one three, it's their turn to shine now. They've they've not taken hardly any casualties. They're going to be coming out of their. Um, their terrain, unfortunately, but they're going to be hiding in a in a cemetery, <laughs> so they can get in amongst. You can do the thriller thing, <laughs> do the thriller dance while they're fighting against these guys, and I, I think they are going to try and come in and, and push us off here. But we've got plenty of troops. We haven't lost a whole lot of troops. Um, our guns are in a reasonable position now to start shooting too. Those are limbered. We're going to have to unlimber those. We've got four heavy guns there unlimbered. We can start shooting down. Yeah, and just start doing some damage. We've taken this hill as well. Um, this is 25 point objective. Like, I think it's good to take this hill because the enemy are going to have to fight you to get it back. Okay, um, Make sure the, that we are not in range of any of these guns. Just probably move these skirmishes back up off onto, onto this hill now. They can move their skirmishes back on if they want. We can then blast them straight off. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be my plan. Just hold the line, basically. And we've got a long way to go. We've got to kill a lot more French if we're going to have any hope of getting a victory on this game. Um, I mean, if I get a, if I can get them down to a French minor victory, I'll feel happy because this is a difficult map. I think at least it's difficult if you're trying to play it like bloodthirsty battle mode usually does. <laughs> but um, we're going to get what was it? I think I worked out it was just it was one was it was 175 victory points there are. I think that's right. So what are we are on 135 now. If things continue as we go like this, right? If we keep the ratio of French to Allied losses as it is, and we don't make any big mistakes, and we're careful about the uh, you know the our own losses, and we inflict decent losses on the French, and we kind of keep this up. Uh, what are we going to get? We're going to take another 175 points from this. That's going to be uh, negative two, negative three, 
uh yeah so three what was it three negative three ten i think so sorry my math my my neg- my math my arithmetic when it comes to negatives is really bad <laughs> it's been a long time since i did my degree so uh yeah so uh, it's going to be about negative 300 points that means that the french are going to be in a minor defeat i th- oh is it minor victory yeah it's going to be a minor victory so we've got to, we've got to step it up right if we want to get a if we want to get a minor victory ourselves which is a minor defeat for the french because remember that's how it works you you get the first side and it tells you how the first side did right so if the first side gets a major defeat that means we've got a major victory that's how it works so we are on track i would say for forcing a minor de- for, for a minor defeat and, or a minor victory for the french but if we can step our game up we could go for this and these war games right they're all about constantly evaluating your victory point at every stage of the game really and figure uh, figuring out what it is that you can risk you know can i risk a major defeat oh, sorry can i risk a major victory or am i gonna have to settle for a minor minor victory here you know and if you're if you're losing like oh can i can i force the enemy into a, a minor defeat or you know uh, or do i have to take the minor you know t- take the l take the minor l <laughs> hope you enjoy this series guys i love these games i think these are great like i'm i'm really really enjoying playing war games at the moment like and i think that yeah i'm 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 thinking about doing a video as to why I like war games, you know, so much. I'm probably going to be preaching to the convert. That's the only problem with that. I mean, I'm I really would like to get. I know that there's not going to be many. You know, the proportion of my audience that is going to be watching this video is probably going to be really quite low now. Um, it's just a shame. I'd I'd like to try to get more people into it, but you know, everyone likes different things. Not everybody likes historical stuff. It's not ex- you know, if you're a sci-fi head or whatever, or you like fantasy games, you're probably not going to be that excited about Napoleonics. I gotta be honest with you. When I used to look at games that looked like this, I, I remember I showed this to a friend of mine who does, he's not a gamer. He's a, he's a musician, uh, but he's not a gamer. Uh, he used to play, me and him used to play video games when we were kids on the Atari ST. <laughs> so we'd play, we'd be playing things like Whizball and, you know, Rana Rama. I don't know if you guys remember those games. So, but anyway, I showed my old friend this and he goes, <laughs> he goes, that makes my eyes wheeze. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the best thing. And he's like, it makes my eyes wheeze. And, you know, I think his, a lot of people who are not, you know, who are casual gamers or gamers who like fantasy or sci-fi stuff, but something with a bit more graphically kind of engaging are going to feel the same way. This does not look exciting to somebody unless you are a war gamer and you've got some interest in history. I'm starting to love this stuff. I think it's amazing. <laughs> anyway guys i'm gonna stop rambling i'll catch you next time hope you enjoyed the series please subscribe if you've not subscribed already that would really really help my channel um but you know the spiel you hear every damn youtuber say it it's true though and every time i ask for subscribers i always get a whole bunch and i care more i really really care a lot about getting more subscribers because if i can get more and more people into these games that's good it's good for the indie gaming scene it really is it's good for you know i mean i don't really care about the triple a industry at all much um beyond some you know vague vague ideas that i want i want you know people to be to be gaming because i think gaming's a nice hobby but i think it's really really good to be promoting these smaller companies and you know war game design studio are doing a really really great job i think they're they're one of the best war gaming groups out there i mean you know there's loads of them slithering are cool as well and matrix etc but like I, I think war games design studio really they they're they're doing some cool stuff especially the hard work they're putting into polishing these games so the more people we can get playing them the better so please subscribe like the video comment and yeah let me know how you feel i'll catch you next time guys take care